Welcome to Pharmacology of the Synapse. This week we'll be talking about genetic predisposition to disease with Fragile X Syndrome as our example. In our unifying schematic, we'll be talking about how genetic changes influence synaptic function and ultimately the effect on the organism. Fragile X syndrome is the most common genetically linked form of autism and intellectual disability. Up to 6% of children with autism have Fragile X syndrome. Fragile X syndrome is caused by mutations in the FMR1 gene on chromosome X. FMR1 stands for Fragile X Mental Retardation Protein 1. The name of this gene is based on its chromosomal appearance. It is located at the end of the chromosome, and the genetic changes in FXS cause the tip of the chromosome to look like it's about to fall off, hence the name Fragile X. The incidence of Fragile X syndrome is about 1 in 4,000 males and 1 in 8,000 females. The physical phenotype caused by Fragile X syndrome consists of facial abnormalities such as large ears, a long and narrow face, prominent jaw and forehead, hyperextensible fingers, flat feet, large testes in men, and low muscle tone. All of the people in this picture have Fragile X syndrome with varying degrees of severity. The behavioral and cognitive deficits in Fragile X syndrome are the most important and challenging symptoms to manage. There can be severe intellectual disabilities and cognitive deficits, autism spectrum characteristics such as communication difficulties, social interaction deficits, hyperactivity and attention deficits, and increased anxiety. In addition, there is also an increased risk of epilepsy and seizures in these patients. Females have less severe symptoms due to the presence of the second, non-affected X chromosome. If we look in the brains of these patients, there is a dendritic phenotype that consists of increased number of spines on neurons. Spines are the sites of synaptic connections between neurons. Most of the spines in Fragile X syndrome patients are immature, with long, thin, mushroom-like body in appearance. Fragile X syndrome is caused by a known genetic mutation in the FMR1 gene that produces hypermethylation. Methylation of DNA is a form of epigenetic regulation, which is regulation of the DNA structure that impacts gene transcription. Methylation of DNA prevents the chromatin from unwinding and prevents transcriptional elements from accessing the DNA. Thus, Gene transcription and gene expression is inhibited by methylation. In Fragile X syndrome, there is a repeated section of DNA in the FMR1 gene that consists of CGGs. Normally, this gene has less than 55 CGG repeats, but in Fragile X syndrome, there are over 200 CGG repeats. CGG repeats are prime sites for methylation to occur. Thus, the consequence of this expanded CGG repeat section is hypermethylation of the FMR1 gene, preventing any gene transcription from occurring and ultimately preventing any protein translation. An intermediate form of this disorder is called Fragile X-associated tremor or ataxia syndrome, which we won't discuss in this class. Since the genetic mutation in Fragile X syndrome is known, it is relatively straightforward to create genetic animal models of the disease by disrupting the FMR1 gene in model organisms. Fragile X syndrome genetic models have been created in fruit flies, zebrafish, mice, and rats. Mouse models are the most common, and the two types of genetic disruptions have been created. The first one is an FMR1 knockout, where the gene has been deliberately disrupted. The second type is a CGG repeat knock-in, which aims to replicate the repeat expansion seen in humans. Both of these approaches result in disrupted FMR1 translation. Genetic mouse models of Fragile X syndrome show similarities to the human phenotype. These animal models show enlarged testes, deficits in social behavior, attention, hyperactivity, increased 
seizure susceptibility, and the dendritic phenotype is present. Some phenotypes that are not seen in the animal models include no changes in facial features, an inconsistent anxiety phenotype, where some studies report no differences in anxiety, whereas others see an increase in anxiety, and the cognitive deficits are not as severe as those observed in humans. 